Well, happy St. Patrick's Day. Uh, today I got a kind of an interesting video to shoot. Uh, got a couple of packages in the mail. And uh, Beyonce always gets a little bit nervous when I get uh, packages, especially when they say fragile, handle with care. But uh, well, let's open them up. This is something that I do, well, I have been doing for about the last 10 years. And the last two, spring came up and I was planting my gardens and so forth. And I totally forgot about uh, ordering these here. Just get these opened up here. What we're talking about today is praying mantis egg cases. And uh, I'm doing a kind of a review. I've, I bought them from several different you know, companies and different people. And I gotta say, We Got the Bugs is by far the best when it comes to price, uh, hatching success, and customer service. They're incredible, they're out of Pennsylvania. But uh, let me just uh, show you what I got. It's interesting, they keep getting better and better with the packaging. We got some praying mantis, million dollar bucks. They got some uh, just kind of interesting facts about uh, praying mantises on these dollar bills. Not legal tender, of course. And then they come with a little mesh bag. And uh, you put your little egg case inside there. And then uh, cinch it up, hang it from a tree. And then that way you can just kind of observe them. Once they do hatch, you can you know, release them from the bag. I normally just uh, hang them from a tree or I also hatch them inside. Also get a uh, nice card. And yes, prey mantises do eat stink bugs. But uh, what I ordered, I got uh, I got 10 Chinese praying mantises. And this is what the uh, Chinese praying mantis egg case looks like. You know, kind of big and round, almost kind of like a marshmallow. And uh, you know, once it gets about 70, 75 degrees out, the babies will come out from the bottom. They'll, they'll just kind of, this will open up almost, get moist, and they'll just start hanging down. It's super, super cool. And, uh, you know, I'll probably get a lot of hateful comments, too, because, you know, they are two out of the three here are invasive species. I, I live in Minnesota, so come uh, fall, if they die first uh, frost. I, I have recovered one egg case my 10 years. But, uh, yeah, these are the Chinese. And this is what I've always, I've always hatched the Chinese ones. But uh, this year... I ordered the Chinese ones and then I saw that they had European and Carolina egg cases. So uh, Dave is, is the owner at We Got the Bugs. So I contacted him and said, any way you could swap out some, you know, a couple of the Chinese for a European and a Carolina. I said, yep, package already left. He said, tell you what, I'll get another one in the mail for you. I mean, that's what I mean by great customer service. That's just packing. Now these are very different. See, these are a lot more slim. And this is gonna be a European mantis. And uh, when I was in uh, Montana, it was about five summers ago, there was a ton of European praying mantises uh, where we were camping. And I was able actually to bring one home and, uh, you know, and eventually died in, in the fall. And then we got, oh, wow. The Carolina, the Carolina mantis. These are very, oh, a lot thinner. You know, here's another one. What's cool about the Carolina mantis is, you know, one, they're, they are native and they have the ability to kind of camouflage to their surroundings. So as they molt, you know, if they're kind of in like a bunch of brown sticks, they'll kind of turn brown. You know, if they're more in the greenish or grayish, 
vegetation, they'll kind of turn that way. So I have two Carolina, two Europeans, and uh, yeah, I look forward to hatching these uh, this spring. Right now, what is it? Well, St. Patty's Day, duh. I would say in about a month and a half, uh, I'll be putting these outside. Because you got to have small bugs for them to eat. I mean, when they hatch, they're about the size of a mosquito. And, you know, if they don't have anything to eat, you know, they're just going to starve. But uh, if you raise them in captivity, what I'll do is I'll do some in the house. And uh, I'll just put them up, you know, poke a hole through here. And they'll just hang in here. Then I'll be able to put it in the windowsill and watch them hatch. And just kind of spread them in the yard. But um, really interesting. Kids love them. What I'll do here, like I said, i got 10 Chinese ones. My daughter is a special ed teacher. So I'm going to see if maybe her class would want one. I think that would be kind of cool. Then I have some co-workers. I always used to give them to their kids. However, I've not been in the office for two years because of the darn COVID. So, uh, you know, maybe we could just get together on a weekend because I know the kids love them. But what I'll do is I'll hatch them and kind of show you the progress. But if you are looking for, you know, these, want to buy some for yourself, we got the bugs and they're on eBay only. I don't think they have a website. It's just go to eBay, type in praying mantis egg cases or Uthaka, and uh, you'll see they have a whole bunch of ads. We got the bugs out of Pennsylvania. Dave, thanks a lot for uh, these great uh, packages here. And I don't know, I'm Dave as well. Maybe it was just one Dave helping out uh, another Dave. So, but. If any questions, feel free to leave them below, uh, positive or negative. Hey, I'm an adult. I can take the heat. But uh, make it a great day. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do that as well. Take care.